Hollywood has yet to warn the lesson. Yeah, so there's a movie coming out called The Fall Guy. It is a non fantasy movie. I know it's based off like some really old movie. So you can technically count it as a franchise movie because it's based off a very old movie. But this movie is basically a non franchise movie. But this movie costed $125 million to produce. And, you know, that's a water film that isn't IP, that isn't a franchise, that isn't a part of a franchise, obviously. A Burton Gosling that expensive budgets have been booing in Hollywood since the pandemic. I think and I, the, the, even the articles, even the, even the media are saying it's wise for studios to start cutting back. Like, for example, Godzilla, they cut back on the budget. Of course, the, the budget still could be high because actors are greedy, obviously, because, you know, I really think most of the budget really goes towards all the A-list actors they put in their movies. Okay, for example... I think the reason why a movie like Challenges cost $55 million to make because they had to get these big actors in the movie because they, you know, they want millions of dollars. And this is a big problem, I think, as well. Okay. Because, because you know, I don't really think a lot of these movies are super, super expensive. I think the real cost is the actors demanding so much money for these movies. And when a movie does make a lot of money... It does make a lot of money, okay? But at the very, if it ends up having some rigs, it's basically like we're not so even. Again, the movie might may, will probably pass $100 million domestically. But again, the international, and it really depends on the international box office. Do people really care about, you know, you know, and people will talk about, but, 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 but um, the Godzilla minus one does that, uh, did practical effects and that stuff, and the movie costed almost nothing to make. Stop making ex- people need to stop making excuses for Hollywood. They really do. Godzilla minus one costed almost nothing to make, and that movie made a huge chunk of money. Okay, he made you know it was a very successful movie. It had nothing, you know, you know, but. Yeah, it is based off like some old so. Yeah, but again, the problem is Hollywood has a problem with getting people to go watch non franchise movies. Forty five million opening is actually pretty decent for a non franchise movie. But you don't but it's very rare to see a good opening for a non franchise movie anymore. It's very rare. Okay. Twenty twenty one, you had no non franchise movies really be a success. you know, twenty twenty two I think it was the biggest stock example. Uh for example, Disney released two original movies and both of them were failures and flops. Okay, Elemental and Riss. I know Elemental, it was a wasp, but it still lost money. Okay, Elemental still lost money in the feeders. Of course, it made back its money through streaming, Blu-ray, DVD, and all that stuff. I know DVD and Blu-ray don't really matter as much anymore, but they still made money on Disney+. Plus. And made money on digital as well. And through merchandise most likely as well. Well. Now. But this is, just, this is just a problem with Hollywood. They keep making these very expensive movies. And the. You know. People don't go up to see them as much. And. It's not as bad as something like the Flash. Okay. Where they spent like $200 million. Or the Marvels where they spent nearly $300 million. Or Miss Impossible. Or stuff like that. But it is pretty funny that Hollywood keeps spending so much money on these movies. Like, are these actors really this expensive? Do they really want that much money from these movies? Like, they would say, but, 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 but practical effects are expensive. Oh, yeah, you know, the movie still also cost around 80 to 90 million dollars. There was, you know, there was obviously a hidden cost to having these people in the movie, which is very stupid. But yeah, that's about this video here. Goodbye.